it's Jan from Jan Does Reviews, and this would be Piccolo. This is our new Lilac Lynx Point Siamese Kitten. My daughter named him Piccolo. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, he's a little um, needy today, so he won't stay off of me. So he'll be in and out of the video. This one's going to be fairly short. Instead of a makeup purchase video, I decided instead, um, since I had um, so many items that I tried out this month that were new to me, with a couple of other things that I've tried in past in different shades, but I thought I would do my top 10 favorites out of everything this month instead, just to keep this video in a more um, brief span of time. Sorry, I'm having trouble with words today. Um, anyway, I thought I would start out with my number 10 product that I tried. And I haven't tried these in years and years. This is the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. Um, this is in the color 240 Sophisticated Sable. And I do have this on my cheeks today. Um, what this is, is you get a matte shade a satin shade, and then a highlighting shade, all in complementing tones. So you can sculpt and create instant cheekbones, as the name implies. I mainly use the satin and the matte shades, um, you know, right here. I do, you know, where most people would put um, contour, that's where I blush. So um, I use those two shades today. So this would be number 10. Then uh, next up would be um, another blush. This one is new. This is from Apo Cosmetics. They're a South Korean brand, and they have bought out Juicy Pang. This is the Jelly Blusher, and this one is so pretty. It's um, very soft. I wouldn't call it jelly feeling. It feels more like a mousse, but um, this is in the shade BE. Zero 02. I got this off of Amazon. I mean, isn't that pretty? It's just so easy to blend out and it turns to a powder finish almost instantly as you rub it. Let me grab a makeup removing towel. Okay. And that would be number nine. So at number eight would be. Um, a new shade in the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Um, this is a new to me shade. I don't know that this is actually a new release. This is in the shade, hang on here, I've forgotten the number, um, 005 Petal. And these are just phenomenal glosses. I don't have this one on today. I've got a combination of two other products, but I'll show you real quick here. That's the color, and then there's a swatch of it. It is just the prettiest rose color. It's um, not overly cool nor overly warm. It's a, a really great shade that would show up beautifully on most skin tones. So there's that for number eight. And then for number seven, something... Um, I tried Juvia's Place for the first time. Um, I got their mystery box and I made a second order for a um, blush duo and their I Am Magic Concealer. Look at that. It's actually cool toned. It's not yellowy at all. This is what I have under my eyes. It is a fantastic concealer. It's very um, creamy. It isn't drying to the under eyes at all. The undertones are truly spot on. Mine is in the shade J21. And um, I know it was a cooler toned, um, but I don't remember the actual description of it. I think it was for fair skin tones or maybe light. I can't remember exactly. Those are generally the ones that I fall into. But this is beautiful. I'll uh, put a little bit on my 
palm here. It comes with a really big oversized doe foot and a little bit will go a long way. That's probably far too much. So let me show you here. It just blends out like a dream. It doesn't settle into fine lines and texture. And it's just beautiful. I mean, it just melts right into your skin and covers any imperfections. Or um, as you can see, it significantly lightens the dark circles on my under eyes. He is nuzzling my neck and I cannot stand it. So this would be my number seven pick for the month of March. At number six would be the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara. This stuff has got the tiniest little wand ever. And it's great for getting every little lash, especially on your lower lash line without making a large mess. And it's also great for the um, inner corner of your eyes to emphasize the lashes that you have there. I don't have this on today. I wanted a more open, wide-eyed look, so I didn't use lower lash mascara. But every time that I do put on lower lash mascara, this is what I'm using. Um, it's flake-free. It's great. Mine is in the shade black. I don't think... I don't think I saw it that it came in any other colors so um, but it was a great find at Walgreens so at the number five spot getting down closer to my, my top three um, number five would be a repeat item that I have used in the past and this would be the Maybelline snap scara I do have this mascara on today this is a tubing formula And it's just gentler on your lashes. It's got a curved wand. And the cat is knocking the tripod around. So if there's any shaking, it's the kitten. Um, I do have it on my lashes today. It washes off easily with warm water. It just comes off in small pieces. It tubes around. Um, it coats each lash but it's in a tube format, so it's quite easy to remove. And I just really like this formula. It's the most affordable. It's not an exact dupe to the Thrive Cosmetics. I like that one best, but it's also considerably cheaper. The Thrive Cosmetics is $28 uh, for a tube of mascara, and this one, this is $8 at my local Walgreens. So not bad, right? Then for number four, Another favorite, <laughs> Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Crayons. These stay on for hours. I do have this on my lips right now, but I do have something else over the top. So this isn't just this color alone. Um, it does have a built-in sharpener in the bottom so you can get a more precise line outline on your lips. Mine is in the shade um, oops, it's at the top. 100, reach high. And this is just a really pretty neutral rosy tone again. Um, I have definite favorites. And a pinkish brown or a mauve are typically what I go for. But here lately, I've really been liking the more deeper pinks, you know, a true rose shade. So, for my top three... At number three spot, we have a new item from my subscription box. This is the Keys Soul Care Radiant Eye Cream. I also have that on today. This is super, super hydrating and moisturizing. It absorbs quickly, but it leaves the skin not greasy feeling, but very, very not moist either. What would, almost a bouncy texture to your skin. Um, it's not sticky. Uh, it, it just feels nice. I really, really like this stuff. And this is a fairly good sized jar. <clears throat> it's no weird packaging. It's a glass. And what you see is exactly what you get container wise. So um, there's quite a bit of product in here. 
Then in the number two spot would be the CoverGirl Smoothers Pressed Powder. Mine is in the shade 705 Translucent Fair. And I found this on Amazon. I couldn't find it in Walgreens or Walmart in person. Um, it came with a powder puff, but I found I like it better for my, uh, I do have this on my under eyes, um, using a sponge type applicator instead with it. And then I also use a large fluffy brush and just swirl it around to um, set my face if I happen to use cream products and I don't want them to move. This is a really great proud powder. Um, it's a not a 100% replacement product for the Physician's Formula Covertox 10 that I loved that was discontinued, but it's a really, really close match. I haven't found anything else that hasn't been a baked finish, which I like the baked powders quite a bit, but they don't offer as much coverage, and this one does. It offers good coverage, not like powder foundation coverage, but for a pressed powder. It does great. It doesn't settle into the lines or emphasize your texture. So, number two. And then at the number one spot would be the Yensa Super 8 Tinted Lip Oil. And mine is in the shade um, on the mauve, on the mauve. This is what I have over the top of the Maybelline Superstay crayon. Now, because it is a lip oil, it is going to break down the um, crayon, so it's not going to last as long as it normally would, but I don't need it to last all day, so um, I'm not going anywhere. This is it for the day, <laughs> so I don't need it to be long-lasting, but I love the feel of this. It's very pillowy. Um, it's not a long-last formula because it is a lip oil. It smells like fruit. And it's a lovely pink purple tone. It's really super cool. Um, cool to undertone. It's just lovely. I I love, I've got the Yensa Super 8 um, lip oil, but it's in a translucent shade. So I haven't had one that was like this opaque. Now this is, it's not like true opacity. It's I don't know how to describe this. Maybe I should just do a uh, swatch of it. That would probably be best, right? There we go. So it has some color, but it's not like you can't see your skin through it. It's just not as sheer as like, you know, a translucent shade is. So this is my number one product. I really, really like it. Um, I don't think I showed you, I'll show you the ink matte ink crayon side by side with that. As you can see, you know, this one is um, not quite as cool toned as the, the lip, lip oil, but the two shades complement each other really well. So that's it. Those are my top 10 picks for the month of March out of everything. Um, that I either received in a subscription box or I bought myself. Um, I hope you liked it. It's just, you know, it felt like more of the video that I would have fun doing rather than going through all my purchases and shaming myself because I, I bought too much. <laughs> I always do. Um, but this just seemed more fun. And I hope you met, enjoyed meeting Piccolo. He's tired. He's been quite naughty. So, um, yeah, we're going to sign off. I hope you're having a great day. It's beautiful here in Kentucky. Stay happy, stay healthy, and make good choices if you can. Bye.